at Box Hill, which is a local National Trust uh, place, and we're going to meet another few of the homemade group, um, and also our uh, Steve's mum and stepdad and bits are here as well, so that's quite nice. What kind of should I do? What do you think? So exploring Stepid Stones, Burford Spur, Let's do Olympic cycling. Oh, back to oh, mummy's pushed a button. starting to rain and no one else is here yet so it's half ten but so I'm not sure if anyone else is going to turn up or not but we've got plenty of other people with us anyway so uh, yeah is it fun? so apparently it's next week and we're here a week early but you know we'll just carry on I think <laughs> no that probably isn't the safest idea you're right <laughs> Mushrooms. We saw these last time when we go. When we went up the woods, yeah. yeah. But we saw the mushrooms on that Yeah, we you see saw the, the big puffballs, didn't we? Did you guys eat these ones? No, I wouldn't eat If we're following the green arrows, which way do we need to go at the crossroads? Left or right? Yeah. So right. Yeah. Yeah? That's the right way, isn't it? Yeah. So turn this way. Spiderweb. Ah, so that's how it's, it's stuck on the spiderweb. That's pretty clever. It looks like it's fallen down instead of being cut down because you see the roots. Look how long it is. Someone's tired. Done a lot of walking, haven't you? Yeah. Tired boy. Yeah, tired. So it's a lovely walk, though, isn't it? We've had a really nice walk. We've never actually been on this trail before, so uh, it stands back there somewhere. What's he doing? What's he doing? Can you see the chestnuts in the shell? They're really spiky though. Oh, no, there's not one in there. You hear them falling from the trees. Back to the car.
Was that nice walk, Stan? Yeah. It was nice, wasn't it? We only did a lot of walking. And me. And he's very tired. And you, yeah. You well, did a great I job. Well, I done recycling. Yeah, you went on Grandpa yes, Johnny's bike. Now. Yeah, we can have a rest now, can't we? And get home. Yeah. Get home and have some lunch, I think. So we're home and we are just making a nice macaroni cheese, aren't we, Stan? You're going to help me. Ow. How many have you got to put it to? How many? How much cheese? Um, I forgot now, Mum. 250 oh, yeah. grams, isn't it? Ah, there's a bit breaking off, Well, oh, be real careful. You don't use too small a bit because you might grate your fingers. See, and you can see level a bit more. Oh, that was just about perfect. That'll be fine. Well done. Put some spinach, yeah. Put some spinach in the cheese. Just tip it all in. That's it. Just frozen oh, that's spinach. It's in little bits. It's really just fun. Nice. Shall I help? Whoa. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Put it, put it in the bin then, love. Well done. Cheese and spinach going in. So another lot. Yeah. Well, I tend to just froze. Fr no. I tend to just freeze spinach in little bags and then you can just use little bits at a time and crush it up when it's frozen. Yeah, keep going, Stan. Okay. And you get these little bits of spinach, which are a little bit less daunting. Yeah. The little Got ones. Because yeah. Ronnie can be a bit fussy, can't he? So, here it is. Oh, that's going to steam up in the oven. Bacon and macaroni cheese. So we're going to have some lunch. It's a bit later than we normally have lunch. It's like two o'clock, um, but it's all a bit different when Daddy's home. Um, and we're basically going to do some reading this afternoon. Um, Stan wants to do a bit more of his rainforest work that we did yesterday at our learning group, which was really good actually. We've got a really busy day tomorrow, um, so I think we're just going to pretty much chill and read and just, uh, you know, keep warm this afternoon. We had a long walk this morning, so everyone's kind of tired. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye!